Folks, it takes a community. Look around you. This is your community. This is your tribe. Let's talk about that a little bit, okay? What does it take to build a community, and what is your role in it? See that? See how I wait? I'm patient. I like to solve problems. I do philosophy, then I model things, then I think about implementation, and only then do I choose my tools. My problem in this talk was I had two million blocks of Lego to build something out of. No kidding. So I asked myself, what am I going to build? Well, I wanted to build a pyramid. So I thought, I'm going to build a pyramid three foot on the side. I want it to be red, and I want it to have a golden top because we were reading the Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan with my kids. They were excited about this. But what I learned was that too many chefs spoil the soup. Sorry, chef. Sorry, JJ. <laughs> and as I reasoned about that, I realized that that is not an open source way of thinking. There's something wrong. Open source proves me wrong. I'm doing something wrong. What was it? Well, those are my kids and those are my wife. I had two big problems. One, I had no standards. And if you look at that, if you go and get the slides, you'll see the inside of that is an absolute shit show of, <laughs> of stuff, right? And my kids were unwilling to tell other kids, hey, you're doing it wrong. All right, so what did I learn? Well, I need to be more like open source. I need many hands to make light work. But to do that, there are certain things that must happen because I'm not going to be able to automate here. It's all about manual building. So what do I do? Well, I set standards, and I set them very early. I'm the one who set the first corner of the pyramid. I'm the one that measured out the four-foot base. I'm the one that set all those things to make sure it was exactly right. You notice the alternating colors. I set that standard so I'd know where we were. Quality. Quality is, a, quality is a standard unto itself. If you do not start with quality, your pyramid will collapse, or your software, or your complex system. Don't, st don't start without quality. <clears throat> Finally, three-year-olds, kids, adults. You need the right kid for the right role. Those are my kids. I love them. They were the wrong kids, like I said. I have three-year-olds. Three-year-olds going to get the pieces because they all look the same. Hey, go get this piece. I'd have kids coming back with shirts full of stuff, dropping it off. And finally, identify the people you can trust. While my kids and my wife were the wrong people, my wife's friend and her kid were the right people. <laughs> Build me a golden top, which you'll see in a minute. It weighed 20 pounds, and they had it exactly right. They built it to spec. They checked in with me occasionally. And what you're going to see in a minute is fine. That 10-year-old girl, she was the boss. She was the right kid in the right place. If there was an 18-year-old boy doing it wrong, she'd say, you're doing it wrong. You need to stop and get Mr. Boyd to look. <laughs> and we ended up with 70 pounds of Lego, over 25,000 pieces of success because of her, because of putting people in the right roles. Think about that for a minute. I didn't know any of those kids. I didn't know any of those kids, and we made that because I thought through DevOps, culture, I built a team sharing an outcome. When kids would come up and want to do their own thing, boss lady would say, hey, you're not doing the thing. And I'd say, yo, man, you got to leave. <laughs> this is not your thing. Automation. Clearly, I'm not automating anything, am I? Right. So what do I need? Well, we just heard Luke this morning talking about you need standards before you do anything, bozos. All right, so I needed standards. That was the alternating whites and blacks. I touched every corner of that pyramid. Lean. Well, that's not the right kind of lean, but it's hard to get the right kind of lean when you want a picture, right? So quality ahead of the handoff. Again, checking everything. I handled every corner. I put people in, I trusted in charge to make sure that things were right every single time. I measured. I actually measured how many Legos are in four feet of the size that I wanted. I knew it was going to be 70 pounds. That determined the standard by which all the stanchions inside were built. Then I could parallelize that to other kids, build it this way, build it this tall, those sorts of things. And finally, we shared that success together. 27 strangers, 70 pounds of Lego, 25,000 pieces, five and a half hours, and we were done. The Lego Fest people were amazed, and they were ticked that we tore it down before they could take pictures. <laughs> Folks, this is your community. If I can get 27 kids to, con to contribute to that, can I get you to contribute to the tribe that you're sitting in right now? You see those links up there. Go find those. Cloud Austin, Austin DevOps, the Agile Austin DevOps sync, SIG, and of course, you're here. Go and propose a topic. You may not think you're a speaker. You may think you have nothing to say. I promise you that even if I disagree with what you're saying, I'm interested because if nothing else, I've checked off a way that I don't want to do something that I might have been considering. Finally, <laughs> tomorrow, lead a conversation. You are going to be asked by Ernest Muller to step up here and propose open space talks. 
you can contribute to this community, this tribe, right away tomorrow. Please step up and do it. I thank you for your time.